In this video, we'll show you how to set up a forgot password flow with Superbase authentication. Note that for the purposes of this video, we assume that you have already installed a Superbase authentication and you already know how to sign up and log in users. If you don't, I highly encourage you to watch our video on that topic. For the purposes of this video, we'll focus on the forgot password flow. So the first thing we'll need is a page to redirect people to. So let's say forgot password. And so I don't forget, I will add the link right away to my forgot password page on my login page. All right, so on the forgot password page, if you have installed Superbase authentication, you will have access to Superbase auth UI elements. And the section you want to add here is the reset password section, where users will be able to add their email. So here I have, I'm using this email for this project. Okay, now on the form container, we have a workflow that triggers the forgot password action. So when you have Superbase auth installed in your project, you have all of these um, authentication no-code actions. And here we need the forgot password action. And we will redirect the user to a new page, which will be our, let's, say choose new password to be more explicit and the url will be new password all right so back on my workflow here i will redirect to the choose new password page now in superbase we need to go to authentication URL configuration and give our uh, project URL. So here I have uh, my site in production, but when I'm building, I should copy the editor link to test and here just remove the last page. So copy the project and I can replace it again with a production URL once I've published uh, my app. So let's save this for now and go back to WeWeb to my forgot password page. Now in preview mode, I will say choice plus one at weweb.io and request a new password. Let's actually test the action in my workflow. I will test this. Tells me it worked. So now I can check my emails to see if I received anything. This is the email I get. And when I click on it, I will be redirected to the choose new password page that I set up earlier. So now here I can look for the change password UI element. And this is where I can choose as the user my new password. And if I go to my form container workflow, there is the confirm password action that is pretty fine and um, my it's mapped to my input by default. So if you wanted to, you could also add a new, um, a second field saying like something like confirm password and have some input validation to check that the confirm password is the same as um, the new password you decide. In any case, once we submit this, we can confirm and I should have tested in my workflow because I haven't set up alerts yet, but it seems to have worked. So now 
if I try to log in with my new password. There we go. If I try to sign in. All right. I'm authenticated. One thing that's important to keep in mind when setting up a forgot password flow with Superbase is that in your Superbase project, in authentication email templates, you can change the template of the reset password email. So the email that the user will receive when they submit their email address to be able to change their password. It's very important that you do not modify this variable. You should leave this as is. This will be filled out automatically with the WeWeb Superbase Auth plugin to redirect the user to the correct page that you set up in your reset password flow. So you can change the content of the email and this is HTML. So you can customize the content of the email template, but make sure that you leave this unchanged. The confirmation URL will be the URL that, or the page I should say, that you defined here. So this will be done automatically. It will be handled automatically by the WeWeb plugin. That's it. That's how you can set up a forgot password flow with Superbase in a WeWeb application. Remember to change the URL configuration in Superbase once you have published your project so that Superbase redirects the user to the page on your published application and not the WeWeb editor.